Hi everyone. Today I'm doing my Ender 3 3D printer upgrade. So remove that, put that here, and you're done. That's it. I'm just kidding. Please keep watching. More seriously, I just received this. It's a direct extruder and a hot end. I'm installing this today since my old one kind of gave up. Uh, I'll show you real quick. This is the old hot end. This thing been working for like four years, so it finally gave up. It was actually a better value to buy this direct extruder and hot end than just buying the hot end alone. So if anyone is trying to do that upgrade, this is the better value in my opinion. I've losing this wheel here, the bottom one, and then this usually just comes off. Next step will be to cut these clips and get access to the cables. So we're gonna have to open up this box. Uh, there's one screw here and there are two from the front. The instructions here for the cables. Next step here is I'm gonna open up this here and then just take this out. By the way, this is important. I think it's worth mentioning that there is this screw that's underneath uh, this um, handle here. So I ended up opening up the handle to kind of get to it. I'm not sure if there is a better way, um, but that one is kind of underneath. And I've done this upgrade before uh, I've put in the double gear. Now the servo finally came off and what I'm gonna go here is for the wires. Um, again, there is one screw here in the back. There are two from the front, so you would have to move this print plate here so we finally got to the cables we gonna need these two red ones these the red and the black one these are the 24 and these two white ones which are plugged in here the yellow and the blue they're plugged in here so I hope that's clear I'm gonna end up opening the plate that's under um, because there's some tape here and some zip ties that I need to access and you know I can bring this back uh, nice and, and clean so I'm just gonna open this and it looks like there are two more um, screws over here so hopefully that'll do it finished swapping the wires again it's this one here the yellow and blue the white ones for the hot end and the red ones for the hot end here. The red and the black one, the 24 volt. Type a couple things here, put the tape bag. Okay, so I got this on. I needed to loosen the bottom wheel and get it on the rail. After securing it on the rail, there's this stepper motor extension cable that comes with the part. It's up here and goes back to the original um, stepper motor. Make sure this have a full uh, range of motion. 
so the cable doesn't get pulled. I don't know about you, but I'm crazy about cable management. So I found an opportunity to reroute this cable from the back. You probably already done this. I'm not sure why I haven't done it before. It is true that I'm actually upgrading the bed. Ended up tying these two cables here so they're away from the bed when it goes back and they're not touching. Otherwise, this would kind of get tangled up with the bed cable. All done. Um, see, this is sits all nice and good. Uh, this also eliminates the need of the side uh, filament holder or anything because the previously the the way the spool sits and the way that it pulls in, it's kind of weird, and you would have to have a side filament holder. Uh, that that's not necessary anymore this is kind of a direct and everything looks good I do need to adjust the stepper uh, motor because I've had the upgrade uh, with with the dual gear so I need to remove that and reverse this to the default and we'll, we'll give it a run in a quick test uh, everything seems to be fine so so far so good I think that came out very good. I'm very happy with that so far. I might do a little bit of adjustment uh, in the settings, but I would call this a very successful print.